Hey everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas. Um, what I'm gonna show you today is how to make a big batch of sourdough biscuits and put them in the freezer raw so that you can have them ready for Christmas day. So it's a little bit less chaotic morning um, if you're looking for something to help you kind of ease the pain of, I don't wanna say pain, Christmas does not equal pain to me sort of ease the chaos of, that can be Christmas morning. So I'm gonna throw those together and they're gonna ferment overnight. And then in the morning, I'll roll them out and we'll flash freeze them and then put them in a bag. And I'll show you all of that. So let's get started. So because I'm making this in advance, I want to make a double batch of this. So normally this recipe makes 24. So I am going to make 48 biscuits. So you wanna start with frozen butter. Um, these biscuits, hold on. I actually always get really complimented on these biscuits being really flaky, especially by my husband. And if you know anything about baking, that usually requires a specific technique. And I don't do that. I do very, very basic. And I think the reason they come flaky, they turn out flaky, is because I use frozen butter, which is not my genius idea. That is the what the recipe says to you. So definitely make sure you start with frozen. I think straight out of the refrigerator would be fine, but I find that frozen is easier to grate, actually, which sounds counterintuitive, but that's how it works for me. This does take me a good minute, so I'm actually gonna watch someone's YouTube video while I do this. purpose but I use bread flour because that's all I have on hand right now and I am gonna use this dough cutter or potato masher I'm not sure what it is um, to mix this all together but because we grated it you could definitely just use a fork if you didn't grate it you would definitely need to use the cutter to cut the butter into pieces um, but you don't Feels, to me it always feels like unsifted flour you can kind of see how it's like real lumpy it's lumpy from the butter and that is actually what you want I'm pretty sure that's how we get the flakiness so now I'm going to add butter that's not true now I'm gonna add milk which the recipe calls for buttermilk or milk I never had buttermilk I do know there's a way that you can add I think vinegar don't don't do this based on my recommendation it, look it up if you want but i think if you add butter to milk it'll make it kind of acidic the way buttermilk is maybe um i just add milk and again delicious so i'm gonna add milk sugar and the starter now yes and so milk sugar in the starter and then that i'll mix that all together and it'll ferment overnight <laughs> make biscuits a lot when I have starter that I fed and to use and then the day got away from me or whatever and so I wasn't able to use it active so it went dormant so or it became discard 
And so, because this is a discard recipe, but I still let it long ferment, it's a good way for me to use up some starter without just having to throw it out or even just to keep it in the fridge. So now I'm gonna feed my starter so I can use it tomorrow nice and active for a recipe that needs active starter. So I'm gonna just throw that out there. So the next morning you add salt, baking powder, and baking soda to a separate bowl. You mix it all together, trying to remove any lumps and get it as smooth as possible. Then you will add half to the dough. Mix that in as best you can, and then add the second half and mix it in again before you roll it out. The recipe says to roll this out to a one inch thickness, but I never measure that. I just eyeball it. And then I don't have a biscuit cutter personally, so I just use the lid on a regular size mason jar and it works great. One tip to make sure these rise right is to not twist whatever cutter you're using, just push down. You can kind of wiggle back and forth, but if you twist, it can kind of seal the edges and it won't give you as good of a rise in the oven. I forgot to bag these up. They've been in the freezer for two days. But they look okay still, I think. So I'm gonna bag them now and bake a few too. And those are my sourdough biscuits. Um, got up earlier this morning to finish those. So technically they didn't have a 12 hour rise time. Uh, they did rise long enough to be gut friendly, I think. Normally I would be more on top of it, but it was a spur of the moment decision because I needed to get my starter down, like I said last night, so I could feed it for a recipe I needed to do this morning, but not have this overabundance of starter. Otherwise I would have started the biscuits earlier and given them that full 12 hours, but it's okay. We are, well, I'm not even gluten intolerant. We just try to be aware of that. And so I like the sourdough because I know it's a, it's an easier digestion. <sighs> now that I've rambled, I hope you try these. And if you want, you can make them ahead like I did and freeze them. And maybe if there's time before this video comes out, I'll show you how they bake after they're frozen. Just so you can see how, how it works so you can feel confident in freezing them ahead of time. Um, so yeah, that is sourdough we'll call them overnight biscuits i'll link the recipe down below obviously that's the best way to follow along but i hope you guys are having a great festive season i definitely am I'm back tomorrow for the next one